I am Yu Tun Lee. My name is Sim Bart Young. I am Kim Bak Dong. And I was a comfort woman during World War II. I was working at Busan, making army uniforms, when the Japanese manager had to let me go and look for another work. The Japanese police officer <laughs> told me that a better job was waiting for me in a factory somewhere. A Japanese man came to our village and told my mother that I could work at the factory, making army uniforms. He then forced my mother to sign a document, and despite her resistance, I ended up being drafted away. I was 16 back then. I was 17. I was 15 in 1941. I was loaded onto a freight car. The police officer asked me to enter the precinct. I was surprised to see several other women inside. An army surgeon immediately gave us an examination on venereal diseases and assigned us to different comfort stations where my nightmarish days began. He chased me down and beat my face badly. I felt numb in my face. Each room was assigned a specific number and we were not allowed to go out. I tried to resist the struggle of being there but I ended up being raped by one of the soldiers who seemed like an officer. I had to serve 30 soldiers in a day. I had to accommodate 30 to 40 soldiers the whole day, except during mealtimes. On weekdays, I received 15 soldiers and received more than 50 during weekends. More soldiers had to be received whenever a new ship arrived. I could not even count how many soldiers I have received since one left and another just came in. Neither money nor tickets were given or even shown to me. On days when we had our period, a thin gauze was given to us as sanitary napkins, and these were the only few days wherein we would not receive soldiers. But during Saturdays and Sundays, and when new ships arrived, we would receive more soldiers even if we had our periods. I was really in pain one day and refused to serve one of the soldiers. That bastard beat me with his fists and kicked me with his boots and took a long knife which he placed against my throat. He asked me how I would like to taste the wrath of the Imperial Army, and he cut me. Blood poured and soaked my whole body, but a soldier went out and satisfied his lust. Other comfort women who were with me in the comfort station caught diseases and got malnourished. They were carted and brought to the river to drown. I also witnessed how two Japanese soldiers catch a pregnant woman and stabbed her in the belly and killed her. I was 15 when I left home. I was 20 when I came back. They took five years away from me. I was finally released in 1946. It took me nine years before I could finally return to my hometown. There, I was able to marry but I couldn't conceive so I adopted a baby boy from a foster home. In 1971, my husband died, so my son had to support me. Now, I have a heart disease and nervous breakdowns, and often, I suffer from nightmares.